Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is probability distribution. We're going to be finding the standard deviation. I already listed uh, the discrete variables on the board. Also, you see uh, that I also have the mean. So that should give you a, a little step up. And so if you would, pause the video and see if you can try this one on your own. All right. First off, what's the formula, right? <laughs> you know, that's the most important thing. Now, the formula is going to be the summation of P of X times X minus the mean or expected value squared. That's the formula. So obviously you're going to need a calculator. So yoink. Let me grab my calculator. So this column is going to be x minus mu. This is going to be x minus mu, whole thing squared. Mu is the mean. It's just a Greek letter. And then in this column, we're going to do p of x times this column, x minus the mean squared. So that's what we're going to do. So do each calculation. So this is going to be 0 minus uh, 2.33, which would be a negative 2.33. This would be 1. I'm just going to do, my, do it on a calculator. Uh, 1 minus 2.33, which is negative uh, 1.33. Next would be 2 minus uh, 2.33, which would be negative 0 0.33. Uh, number 3 would be 3 minus 2.33, which is 0 0.67. Uh, 4 minus 2.33, which is 1.67. Then you have 5 minus 2.33. So that would be 2.67. Now I'm going to square each one. So 2 points, negative 2.33. Uh, squared. It's going to give me 5.4289. I'm not going to round until I get here, and I'm going to use two decimal places because I'm going to be taking the stand. Once I take the standard, once I take the square root of the variance, that gives me the standard deviation, and I need an extra decimal place. Right, since my discrete variables are there is no decimal place, I always go one more. And if I'm going to be calculating, I want to go an extra one so I know it's around either up or down. So that's just what I'm going to do. Uh, so take this, square it, which would be 1.76. 8, 9. These are all going to be positive, by the way, because you're squaring, you're squaring the number. 0 0.1089. 0 0.67 squared is 0 0.4489. One point six seven squared is two point seven eight eight nine. Then you have two point six seven squared, which is seven point one two eight nine. And 
then you have, then you want to do the probability times this. And I'm going to do the rounding in this step. I'm going to do two decimal places. So clear on my calculator. So 0 0.13 times 5.4289. That would be a 0 0.71. So I'm rounding up. Do it over here. So that'd be zero point one five times one point seven six eight nine, which would be zero point two seven. Rounding up again, because I get zero point two six five three whatever. Uh, 0 0.23 times 0 0.1089 rounding up again so that would be 0 0.03 and then I have this so that's 0 0.17 uh, times Two point seven eight eight. Whoops. Let me get one in order. So that would be zero point two eight times zero point four four eight nine, which would be zero point again rounding up zero point one three. Then I'll do 0 0.17 times this, which is 2.7889, which gives you 0 0.474, but you just round down, so you keep it the same. Then you do this times this, 0 0.04 times... 7.1289. So that would be approximately 0 0.29. And I'm rounding up because it's a 5. So next, what I want to do is that will give me the variance, which is sigma squared. And I'm not going to round in this step. It's only until I take the square root of the variance that I'll round to one decimal place. So I just add these up. So 0 0.71 plus 0 0.27 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.13 plus 0 0.47 plus 0 0.29. And that gives you... 1.9. I guess I didn't have to round two decimal places. And then you take the square root of that. Which you're going to have to round. So it would be approximately. You take the square root of each of those. And so the standard, uh, yeah, standard deviation is approximately 1.4 and that's it